Okay, so I just turned on my Fire TV stick and it said that it was updating. It was going to take one to two minutes and it's now updated. So it now says introducing the all new Fire TV experience. The new main menu, main menu lets you easily find new content, play live TV and access your favourite apps. It also says personalise Fire TV with profiles. Create up to six profiles for personalised recommendations, watch lists, viewing history and more. Decide what, you, what to watch with Find. Find is your new destination to search and discover films, TV programmes, apps, free content and more. So it's now updated to the new UI from the old one. That's the new user interface. That is the screen that you see when you first go into the Fire TV stick. Now, the great thing about this that I'm looking forward to is the personalize the Fire TV with profiles, which basically means that if you've got more than one person that uses the Fire TV, you can set up like individual logins for them on the Fire TV stick. So they can personalize each screen themselves. There's nothing more annoying than somebody going onto your Fire TV stick and adjusting it and making it the way they like it. Well, now they can do it under their own profiles i used to hate it when people used to get in my car adjust the radio adjust the seat height and the, just the, the, the uh, everything in there it was awful so now like i say on the fire tv stick you can have up to six profiles so six different logins for your fire tv stick which is absolutely great so let's see what happens when we click on ok so i'm just going to grab my remote control and i'm just going to press the middle button on the remote control and here we go it's now loading up the new menu so as you can see here we've got along here different menu options i think a lot of these used to be along the top from what i remember so we've got here home and then if i press the right button on the remote control we've got find so we've got search functions here and we can filter through things so we've got library films let's just go into films and it shows us all the films that are available on the fire tv stick we've also got a great little section here called free to me so if i go to free to me and let's see what's free and all these films look like they're free so let's just uh, recommended films from your subscription so let's just go into the gentleman and uh, ah there we go no it's not actually free it's the 30 day free trial with prime so uh, okay forget that so I'm just going to press the back button and we're just going to go back again. And uh, like I say, so we've got all different uh, categories there. We've got more categories down the bottom there to search for things. Let's just go back up and let's just go to the live menu. Now the live menu shows you all the things that uh, feature live TV. So here in the UK, we've got the iPlayer, the ITV Hub, Channel 4, my five euro sport tv player sky news pluto twitch and red bull tv and uh, a few prime channels down there as well so that's the live section and then we go across here and we've got here the app youtube and then we've got we've got other apps on here that are all on our fire tv and what we can do is we can go to this icon just here to view all of the apps on there and it gives us an option, I believe, so that we can add an app to the, the, the bar there. So say if I wanted to, I don't know, add um, the this, this little app just here to it. So we can press, as it says at the bottom of the screen here, the three lines in there to move or remove it. So let's uh, move it. So I've got the menu up there on the right hand side of the screen. So let's just press the middle button on the remote control and let's just move it so we can move it right to the top here and we can pin it to the front of this menu bar up here so just press the middle button to pin it once I've, I've got it there let's just press the back button and as you can see now downloader has appeared just there right at the front there so it's always going to be there which is uh, is great it's really handy so we can add more apps to it if we want to just by going back to that there and uh, we can select another app on there so say if i wanted for instance uh, this app just here 
on there again I can highlight it and then press the little menu button just there on the remote control go to move and press the middle button on the remote control and move it to wherever I want to I can move it in in that menu just there if I want at the bottom there or if I want to I can move it in there just to the right of YouTube press the middle button on the remote control and there you go it's moved I press the picture of the house on the remote control it goes back to the main menu and there you go you can see it's just there so we've also got there we've got settings just on the end there so I'm going to settings there and uh, I can either press the middle button on the remote control or I can just go down and just go through all the different settings on the 4k fire TV stick if I want to go into settings there, I can just press the middle button on the remote control and yeah, it does, doesn't, doesn't do any different to be quite honest with you. So, and there's your different settings there. So one of the, one of the new settings there is account and profile settings. So if I go into that and that is my current uh, account on there. If I go down, I've got profiles there. I can go into profiles. And there, if I want to, I can add another profile. Okay, press the middle button. And uh, I can set up a new profile there. So uh, let's just set up another profile. So I'm just going to enter a name in there. So let's just enter Dave, for instance. Okay, press the play pause button on the remote control. Go down to add and then press the middle button on the remote control there. And there you go, we've got a separate profile there. And let's just press the picture of the house, okay? And if I wanna switch profiles, all I do is I just go to that icon just there, okay? And then I can go down and across to Dave if I want to, press the middle button on the remote control, and there you go. It's now signing in as Dave, for instance. So, and Dave can set there his own uh, apps, should I say, up in there. And if I want to go back to mine, let's just go back to the picture of the house just there and then go down to my name just there and press the middle button on the remote control. And then I can go back to my own profile with my own apps and my own layout. So there you go. That's just a quick run through of the new 4K Fire Stick UI, which I've got mm -hmm. today. You might find that you might not get this on yours just yet. Um, Amazon are rolling this out to certain people in batches okay so you might get it today you might get it tomorrow you might not get it for another week or another month it uh, it really depends but this at least you know what to expect when you do get it I hope this guide helps and thank you very much for watching you can follow me on Twitter at CW Tech that's at CW Tech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.